IIT Hyderabad 2022 review. IIT Hyderabad was established in 2008 and is located in the Sangareddy district, Telangana. It is a premier and one of the most coveted schools for science and technology in the country. It is one among the eight young IITs that have been recently founded. IITH ranks number 17 in best global universities in India, number 223 in best global universities in Asia, and number 890 in best global universities according to usnews.com. It is also consistently ranked in the top 10 institutes in India for engineering according to the NIRF ranking. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course and know your career. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite courses and careers. In this video, we're going to review IIT Hyderabad for the academic year 2022 and compare statistics over the past three years on the information about student intake rates, courses offered, graduation and placement records, as well as other factors. Keep watching this video to learn more about IIT Hyderabad. IIT Hyderabad campus is spread over 576 acres of land, offering a wide array of academic choices and it also provides various facilities for its students. IIT Hyderabad offers 14 UG and 21 in EG courses. Let's take a look at the approved student intake for the past three years at IIT Hyderabad. Here we are presenting the data submitted to the NIRF by IIT Hyderabad for the year 2022. For 2022, the student intake rate for the UG four-year program is 425. In 2021, it was 317 and in 2020, it was 294. The approved intake rate has increased in the past three years. Let's now take a look at the student stat information. IIT Hyderabad accommodates a total of 1,876 students. The percentage of the male community stands at 80.49% and the female community comprises 19.51% of the total student population. Among the total 1,876 students, 618 are from within the state, while 1,234 are from outside the state and 24 are from abroad pursuing various degrees at IIT Hyderabad. IIT Hyderabad is one of the next-gen and recently established IITs. The graduation rate of the institute is exemplary. Let's look at the records for the past three years for various degree programs. For 2020, the graduation rate for the UG four-year program was 94.09%. In 2021, it was 90.5% and in 2022, it is 94.79%. For the past three years, there has been a slight increase in the graduation rate for the UG program. The total number of students pursuing a PhD is 682, while 68 of them are successfully graduating in 2022. Let's now get into the details of placement records of students in IIT Hyderabad. For the UG four-year program, the placement percentage in 2020 was 82.12%. In 2021, it was 82.29% and in 2022, it is 70.88%. There has been a decrease in the placement records over the past three years for the UG program. Let's now look at the median salary packages offered to IIT Hyderabad students during campus interviews over the past three years. Students who completed the UG four-year program received a median salary of 12 lakhs in 2020, 17 lakhs in 2021, and 16.2 lakhs in 2022. All of this data shows that IIT Hyderabad students have received a good median salary package for all degree programs. Let's now look into the capital expenditure data done by IIT Hyderabad for 2022. The total capital expenditure that includes money spent for improving library facilities, upgrading equipment and research labs, and building seminar and classrooms for 2022 sums up to 49.4 crores. 7.3% was spent on improving library resources, 77.47% was used for buying new equipment, 0.04% for organizing workshops, and 15.19% for building new seminar halls and classrooms. Comparing the records of the past three years, the capital expenditure done by IIT Hyderabad increased in 2021, and in 2022, the total amount spent has decreased. Next is operational expenditure details. The total operational expenditure done by IIT Hyderabad for 2022 is 87.12 crores. And this includes the money spent for salaries, for teaching and other staff, maintenance of academic facilities, and finally, organizing workshops. 
Out of this, 90.93% was used for salaries for teaching and non-teaching staff, and 8.61% was used towards the maintenance of academic infrastructure development, while 0.45% was utilized for organizing workshops and seminars. Comparing the past three years, the total operational expenditure done by IIT Hyderabad has decreased. Now let's get to know how many patents have been published and granted by IIT Hyderabad in the past three years. In 2018, a total of 21 patents were published and one was granted. In 2019, 17 were published and five were granted. And in 2020, a total of 20 patents were published and five were granted. Data shows that IIT Hyderabad is consistently trying to publish more patents. Now let's take a look at the sponsored research funds that IIT Hyderabad has received over the past three years. For 2022, a total of 72.2 crores was received from 48 funding agencies to complete 123 projects. In 2021, 52 crores from 42 agencies to complete 102 projects was received. In 2020, 54 crores from 32 agencies to complete 113 projects. IIT Hyderabad is a new-gen IIT and data points out that they are constantly receiving sponsored funds. Let's now look at the funds received from consultancy projects for IIT Hyderabad. In 2022, they received a total of 7.5 crores from 95 client organizations to complete 173 projects. In 2021, 5.2 crores from 71 clients to complete 115 projects. And in 2020, they received 5.1 crores from 74 client organizations to complete 133 projects. The total amount received in 2022 is the highest compared to 2020 and 2021. Next, let's take a look at the faculty data and fee structure. IIT Hyderabad comprises a total of 227 faculty members, out of which 98.68% are PhD holders. The faculty-to-student ratio is 1 is to 8. The approximate fee to complete a course at IIT Hyderabad would cost 8,79,000 for 4 years. Please note that the fee structure mentioned is subject to variation. IIT Hyderabad has a very flexible academic structure and also promotes entrepreneurship and has a strong industry collaboration which facilitates the students and faculty members to translate their dreams into a reality. IITH has a strong relationship with Japanese universities and also has tie-ups with industries. The foundation of IIT Hyderabad is based on research and innovation. The institute also supports innovation and entrepreneurship programs and a lot of innovation centers and incubators have been established to nurture young talent and ideas. IIT Hyderabad has been successful in having tie-ups with top academic institutions around the globe. We hope that we've given you all of the insights you need about IIT Hyderabad for the academic year 2022. What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us and we will provide all the information you need to prove your decision right. If you agree with our analysis, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.